This next memoir that I'm working on is about all different kind, times of my life. It's about, it's me now looking back on my childhood. It's about my life now as a mother and author and public speaker and, and citizen of the city of Portland, Oregon. Well, you know your fans are a little bit impatient and they <laughs> will have my hide if I don't ask. When is that deadline? When are they gonna be able to buy that next book? What I hope to, to have be true is this time next year, if we're sitting here on these couches one year from it. today, um, I hope to say, yeah, my book is finished and this is the title of it and it will be published on this date. What are the lessons that you've learned since Wild? I did find my way back to myself. Um, I did make a home in Portland. I did marry a man who's my partner today in, in August. We're celebrating our 20th wedding anniversary. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Which, you know, back there in my 20s, it's interesting when I was, you know, writing about that time of my life in Wild. I had been married very young, gotten divorced right before I went out on my hike, and I really didn't think of myself as somebody who could have a, a decades-long successful marriage. You know, I just thought, oh, that's not in the cards for me. I was wrong about that. I have two children who are now 13 and, and 15, and I'm a mother and stepping into motherhood. This next chapter um, that really I'm reckoning with and writing about is how did I get here from there? How, what sense do I make of life in middle age? I think it's such a powerful time of life. I, when I turned 50, I did it with nothing but joy and celebration because I do feel like that there's a kind of wisdom that I've gained that can only be gained with, as I wrote in my book, Tiny Beautiful Things, with the grace of years. And I feel that you speaking out, talking about your feelings about aging mm -hmm. and about being a 50-year-old woman, yeah. um, you give it a different spin. And this is what 50 yeah. looks like, and this is what 55 looks That's like. That's right. And I feel like sharing those stories is going to change the narrative. Here you are in broadcasting, really, an industry that is famous for pushing women and, and some men, too, out the door once they reach middle age. Yes. And here you are at the top of your game. And so what you do by doing the work you do, make, you make us all stronger. Oh. Well, how that comment came about is I just told her, I said, you inspire me. When I hear you talk about those things, and she looked right at me and she goes, you inspire me. So, whew, I got a little she's, like, whew. She's right. You do inspire Aww. us, and you're wonderful, and she's wonderful. I loved that piece. I was telling you about the uh, baseball mom I was talking to at the fields a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And uh, she made that same observation. She was talking to me about, man, your business really uh, chews up some of its uh, veterans and spits them out. And then she was mm -hmm. rattling off some names from Portland Broadcasting Past. Mm -hmm. And then she said, but Brenda. I love Brenda. She's still going strong. I love Brenda. That's why I yep. watch your show. And I said, you know, there's You're other reasons to watch the show, inspiration. too. Inspiration. <laughs> and I said, but mainly other, Brenda. And she kept saying Brenda, Brenda, Brenda. But, well, yeah. You know what? It, Cheryl will call you out if she mm. needs to. She's also, you know, able to go deep. That's why her fans love her. And we have part two of our conversation coming up tomorrow on Sunrise. Awesome. I put it out there for my Facebook followers. I said, if you could ask her anything, what would it be? You guys came up with some great oh, questions, <laughs> um, including what's on your nightstand. So she's got some book recommendations, and that's tomorrow on Sunrise. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. Well, what I got out of that story was I'm old and I'm soon going to be replaced. <laughs> no, not necessarily. No, the opposite. You're here Keep to stay. Keep doing a good job. People love you. <laughs>